Hello friends, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to study about biochemical pathway analysis. This is a practical concept to understand one gene, one enzyme. So there are two things which we need to understand before we start the problems. First is that there is a gene which gives a protein or an enzyme and if this en and this enzyme catalyze transformation of a product from A to B. If this gene is inhibited this transformation is not possible. If this enzyme is inhibited which means if there is a mutation in this gene this functional enzyme will not form and that's how we will not get a functional transformation of A to B. So this is our concept number one. Now the second concept is that most of the organism the wild type organisms they are able to synthesize almost everything with a minimal media. What is a minimal media? Minimal media which has a carbon source a nitrogen source some inorganic salts and water. I am really bad at spelling. <laughs> so, if you provide all these constraints to any organism, they will grow. But, there are some oxotropes. These oxotropes require nutrients. A particular nutrients supplemented in this minimal media so that they can grow. For example, histidine or oxotroph. If there is a histidine oxotroph, this will require histidine in the media to grow. Okay, so let's see a biochemical path. Suppose there is a substrate X which is transformed into Y which is transformed into Z okay and this transformer this transformation require an enzyme A and enzyme B okay suppose if there is a mutation in A. In that case, this pathway will not be functional. So what we require is a final product, which is Z. This will not form, which means that this organism will not survive until and unless we provide Z or it will survive even if we provide Y because role of A is to transform X into Y. So if we directly provide Y, this organism will grow. Whereas if there is a mutation in B, this organism will not survive until unless we provide Z. But even if you provide Y, this will not survive. Why it will not survive? Because Y will not transform to Z because mutation is in B. So to understand any pathway, the final product, if you provide the final product of that reaction, 
organism will survive or the mutants will survive right so all the mutants will survive if we have if we provide final product in the medium second the the second last product if you provide second last product only those organisms will survive which have a mutation before that product right and so if there is a mutation in second last enzyme if you provide the two substance which is last and second last this organism will survive a bit confusing just we see a work problem to understand how to do this okay guys so this is the example which i was talking about so here is a uh, neurospora mutants and plus sign indicates the growth whereas minus sign indicates there is no growth so now look at this there are two mutants a and b okay and if you see the wild type if you add tryptophan kinodinine hydroxyl anthrolic acid or niacin this wild type will grow in all the conditions right whereas mutant will only grow if niacin 3 hydroxyl anthrolic acid or kinerin is added mutant b will grow only if niacin and 3 hydroxyl anthrolic acid is added so what do we understand if we add niacin both the mutants will grow so what is the last product in this cycle yes it is niacin if we add 3 hydroxyl anthrolic acid both the mutants will grow what does that mean that 3 hydroxyl anthrolic acid is the last product we cannot differentiate which one comes first niacin or 3 hydroxyl acid because there is no mutant between them now let's see mutant a if you add kinerin it will grow but tryptophan it will not grow which means what that the kinerin is just before niacin and 3 hydroxyl anthrolic acid and so the tryptophan must be here right okay so what is mutant a mutant a is it will grow if kinerin is provided in the medium which means what that if there is something mutant A is something which is unable to produce kinerin but if A is provided it will grow right let's see what about mutant B even if you provide kinerin it will not grow because it is something which is after kinerin right so until and unless you provide either niacin or 3 anthrolic acid mutant b will not grow and hence it is mutation after kinerin so this is the basic concept mode number of plus would be the last in the pathway right from most plus from least plus 
to most plus. Okay, let's see another example. The best way to do this is pause this video at this moment and try to do it yourself. Later, we do it together. 